Lady Elaine at your service. The following Purple Crown tutorial is one in a series on the lesser known dynamic array functions introduced in Excel subsequent to the original eight. In this series, Harold will address each function thoroughly. He will show how to use them, including all arguments, demonstrate how they are dynamic and update automatically, and show how to use them in formulas and as references. Thanks, Elaine. Today we're going to talk about the array to text function. It's a simple dynamic array function, but as with most of them, we find them simple at first and then we do find lots of uses for them. What array to text does is if I say equals array to text, next argument is array. So let's take name and county here. If we omit the first argument, the second argument, or put zero, it just gives us a nice list separated by commas. There we go. Nice list I could take and use anywhere else. It lives in one cell. Dynamic. If Theodoric moved to Easton from Weston, change it. Changes in my list change that back this the next the other argument for the second argument is strict how that works is if I say equals array to text we use the same range name and county this time I'll add the second argument for one the default is zero or no or you don't have to put it one is strict Say enter. Now I have curly brackets. Uh, each name is still in quotes, separated by comma. Or the columns are now separated by semicolons, so it's keeping the structure of my table for use in a formula. If I wanted to use as a reference, I could do that too. Let's say I wanted to make an email list. I could say equals array to text. Just grab all the email names. Size is fine for this. That email name separated by a comma for a true email list. I need to separate it by colon if I semicolon if I want to paste that into Outlook and use it. So I can say equals substitute the text is I'm just gonna use this one cell followed by the hashtag comma old text is comma in quotes comma new text is Semicolon in quotes. I got all those quotes and commas right. This should work. There I have my email list ready to paste into Outlook, separated by semicolons. Let's say I wanted to nest nest it. Uh, I could do a sort and unique. Let's say I wanted all the items in my order table here unique items in my order table sorted alphabetically i could say in this case array to text has to come first equals array to text sort unique and then everything in the item column up here, control shift down, back to the top. Close for array to text, for sort, and for unique. And okay, now I have a unique list of all my items step sorted alphabetically separated by commas, ready to use or refer to in a formula or function. 
Another trick I wanted to show how this could be useful is for YouTubers. I uh, When you do your tags, they're conveniently separated by commas. I keep my tags on a worksheet. If I change one, my tags change. Let's just call this Excel 2022. Up here, my tag changed. Second thing is I I use this copy and paste values, then I copy that output directly into YouTube tags. Simple. So array to text. A simple dynamic array function. But it turns out there's a lot of uses for it. Tune in again as I go over some more dynamic array functions. Thanks. My most sincere thanks for watching this Purple Crown Dynamic Array tutorial. If you liked it, like it. And of course, subscribe. Until tomorrow, fare thee well.